Hello guys, welcome back with our new video. In this video, I'll help you how to fix unable to check for updates and error occurred while checking for a software update on your iPhone or iPad. So guys, when you update your software of your iPhone or iPad and facing this type of issue, then I'll help you how to fix it. So let's start without wasting any time. So first of all, go back, open your settings, scroll and hit, click on Wi-Fi and make sure that your Wi-Fi is proper connected with your device. So after doing this, go back and if your Wi-Fi is not connected, then open your mobile data. And after doing this, scroll it down, click on general and uh, click on date and time and make sure that your date and time is set automatically. So after doing this, go back, scroll it down, click on VPN and device management and make sure that any kind of VPN is not connected with your device. So after doing this, go back, scroll it down, click on transfer and reset iPhone, click on reset and click, click on reset network setting. So here you need to put your passcode of your iPhone or iPad and after doing this, your problem will be fixed. So still facing this problem, then open your settings again. So here you can see I am in settings, then click on screen time, scroll it down. And here is the option of content and privacy restrictions. Click here and here you can see content and privacy restrictions. Make sure that it is on and after this click on content restrictions. So wait for seconds. And here you can see and scroll it down and here you can see web filter so you need to click here and click on allowed websites click here and after doing this go back scroll it down and make sure that website content is allow and all of these you need to make allow and after doing this go back and check that your problem is fixed or not so still facing this problem then open your settings again and uh, click on general scroll it down and click on transfer and reset iphone click here and click on reset and click on reset all settings so here you need to put your passcode and after doing this after reset totally setting of your iphone or ipad then your problem will be fixed and you will be able to update your iphone or ipad to latest ios version so guys hope you like this video if you like this video please do subscribe comment and share thank you